So here we are looking at the Fronius Solar Web Monitoring Platform and we see up the top here we've got a number of tabs at the moment we're on the overview tab and the main thing you see here is the current power of the system and this current power is with a is is showing a system with a Fronius smart meter and so with the Fronius smart meter it can show us the consumption of the property and it can show us the uh, the, the power going to or from the grid and so we have the solar panels up here right now they're producing 5.68 kilowatts of power that's been fed into the solar inverter and then it's been distributed accordingly from there so we see 2.99 kilowatts is going up to the light bulb up there the light bulb represents loads in the property and then we've got 2.69 kilowatts as surplus solar power so power which has been generated but not required in the property it's not required up here so it's been sent back to the grid if we had a battery here instead of going and, and the battery wasn't fully charged it would be coming from the solar panels to the loads first and if there's any surplus power be going back to the batteries to maximize self-consumption so if we're in a situation where the house was using more than the house was consuming over here more power than the solar was producing so as later in the day when the sun's going down we would see the the line here the the dots here going to the grid going the other way and feeding into the the home to be consumed over here we've got the energy balance today and so obviously this has been a full day what we're going to do is actually click on that and it will give us a more detailed graph of what's going on in the system and uh, we're going to go back to a day before we've got the arrow over here which we can go through between days so we just go go back a day just give us a full 24 hour period to talk about so we can see this black line represents what's been consumed uh, well what the consumption of the of the property so what's the time we got here just after midnight 1 a.m. We're, we're looking at a standby load in the property of just under a kilowatt really a kilowatt there 800 900 watts then 4 a.m. it starts jumping up a little bit 1.6 kilowatts and then you can see right at what, what time is it about seven o'clock the solar starts uh, coming on board and we can see the power which has been consumed directly so the power consumed directly is a power coming from the solar panels and being consumed in the property you can see the consumption there is 2.18 kilowatts 0.24 of a kilowatt is coming from the solar this time of day and you can see as the sun starts coming up it starts really ramping up and so at this stage 3.75 kilowatts of power is being consumed directly so the solar is producing 3.75 kilowatts and the house is using 5.8 so there's no surplus at this stage it's all going into the house everything the solar is doing but we see the loads start dropping off in a moment and the solar keeps on producing more so we actually got power going into the grid here 1.7 kilowatts going into the grid 3.4 kilowatts being consumed directly and was that 3.46 is the total consumption at this stage so pretty much everything's been uh, powered from the solar at this stage and we see the loads jump up again so not the solar's not quite covering it and then the loads start dropping off again and we can see we've had a beautiful nice sunny morning here and then this cloud has started building up and and causing these big jagged jagged cuts in the in the solar production but still throughout most of the day the solar has been covering the lows completely and then it starts dropping down and starts going back to the grid providing the power so if there was a battery with this system all this surplus would actually be going into the battery until the battery gets fully charged and then as the sun starts going down and the solar is no longer enough to cover it like about there the battery would start kicking in and discharging into the house to cover those loads so to help you maximize the self-consumption of the property so we can also obviously here we got the two tabs production and consumption we click on the consumption it just does the same thing but just in a different color really so if we just go back we just click on the name of the site and go back to the main page there And so we've got real time here as well. We oops. 
So this real-time site is currently under construction. You can go to the old version of SolarWare, which we'll do, just to check out these things, explain them all. So the old version of SolarWeb's just got a, a little bit more information. It's, it's not quite as, as pretty, but it just gives you information. So just a bit of information about, about how much power the inverters actually produced. And we've got archive reports, service messages. Service messages are always good if, you, if you're having an issue come up with the inverter. You can look up all the uh, error messages there. See if we get anything here. Sorry, the system's been a bit slow at the moment. Here we can actually see the uh, amount of solar power has actually dropped down quite dramatically it must have been a cloud come over and so the amount of solar power being produced is quite low but the load in the house is still 1.93 kilowatts so you can see 1.3 kilowatts is now coming from the grid as well over here we've got a few interesting just uh, facts just for interest sake really so the earnings of the system just shown in different ways and co2 savings in total so uh, equivalent to 21 trees being planted since it was installed and equivalent to driving 5,476 kilometers. Up here we've got real-time analysis, energy balance reports, service messages and settings. So for you, you can go through all these different tabs and look into them in more detail. However, the, the main one which you're going to be interested in in the long term is the overview. That gives you the main gist of what the system's doing and the main information that you require. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful in uh, helping you understand how the solar web monitoring platform works and just what the different readings mean. Thanks for watching.